Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Paradox, and I'm gonna be showing you some helpful tricks on how to get better, and you know, some tips and tricks on you know just Infinite Warfare itself, and some stuff you need to know on there. So, you know, most people have asked me, how did I get so good? Like, do I use a regular controller, a scuff, or you know, what? You know, just some questions y'all have been asking me that I've seen a lot. You know, I've kind of wanted to make a video on this, and you know, I just I'm not should have you know this just I should have made a video on this a very long time ago, and you know now I'm just gonna make the video. So my first thing I want to tell y'all is I don't use a scuff or a keyboard. I just use a regular controller. I use a blue DualShock 4 controller I bought from Walmart, sixty dollars. That's it. And you know. You don't need scuffs. You don't need a keyboard to be good, guys. I'm gonna tell y'all that straight up. You do not like people that if y'all are buying scuffs and you know bigger YouTubers telling you to buy scuffs, they help you so much. They don't. I'm gonna tell you that straight up. They might help you a little bit, but they're not gonna help you severely. I'm like they're not gonna help you a lot. I'm gonna tell you straight up. I smack people that use scuffs and stuff like that. I've never ran against a keyboarder. I've never ran against a keyboarder though, but. I've smacked so many people that have to use a scuff. And, you know, stick and move. You just gotta use stick and move. Stick and move is probably the best button layout on Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3. You know, these are only the really two main Call of Duties that's had stick and move. You don't want to use a stick and move on boots on ground. You just don't want to do that. And, you know, just use stick and move. You know, if you're, if you're comfortable with bumper jumper, you know, that's fine. But you want, like, guys, I'm going to tell you, if y'all are just using default or, you know, tactical, guys, try stick and move. You know, the best way to do it is, I'm not even going to lie, just put on stick and move right now. Like, right now. Go on to your game right now, and then just put stick and move on, and just start playing. You just got to play a couple. You know, you might do bad for the first couple games or so. But you just got to put stick and move on. I'm telling y'all, guys, y'all just got to listen to me. If you run stick and move, you're going to do so much better. I'm going to tell you all that straight up. And now the second thing is, how did I get so, like, how did I get my aim? You know, aiming, it's all about your reflexes and your sensitivity. You don't want to run a two of a low of a sensitivity, or you don't want to run two of a, like, you don't want to run a high or a low sensitivity. You want to kind of have it in the middle. My sensitivity is a 13 over 14. And the thing is, you want to have your horizontal sensitivity lower than your vertical. You want to have your vertical up one more so you can aim faster looking up and down instead of side to side. Mine is a 13-14. Most people like to run like a 7-8, seven, 7-7, seven, seven, somewhere around there. But you know, 10, stay around the range of like about a 10 to like 5, you know, around there. You know, I like 13-14 just, you know... I move just right because I like when I play I like What's to aim down sights and I like to move fast like I like to move fast I'm a rush fast person and I like to aim move around quickly look around me fast like that's why I like to do like them random 360s when I'm on raw raw wall runs just because of you know just to look around me, you know and you know fast like a medium sensitivities like when I say medium I mean like a lowish highest sensitivity is good you know if you're running like a a four or stuff like it's good if you just gotta have a sensitivity that's comfortable for you but i prefer a for me i have 13 14 and most people i talk to have around a 10 so if you're comfortable with a four four if you're comfortable with a three three a five five whatever it is use it but make sure you're comfortable with the sensitivity you're running and if you, a helpful way to do that is just play with the sensitivity if you're not comfortable with your sensitivity you need to just start playing a lot more and you know just get comfortable with that sensitivity most people are probably already comfortable with their sensitivity but you know that's really it for the sensitivity on you know aiming stuff and a lot of people ask me how is your reflexes and stuff my reflexes are just fast just because at a younger age you know you're just you have fast reflexes and another thing is hardcore hardcore is going to help you tremendously and you know hardcore it's just not i just don't play hardcore just to play it i love hardcore like hardcore is my favorite game mode 
but I'm most likely going to be playing core next year because it's a boots on ground. You know, Sledgehammer, they have good hit detection in core. And I was going to play core this year. It's just their hit detection is very bad. But, you know, reflexes is a good thing to have in Call of Duty. You want to have a fast one like I do. I have a very fast reflex. And, you know, people just, you know, how can you turn around so fast and, you know, see me or, you know, how can you dodge, you know, stuff like bullets and all that. Like, I jump high and all that. Like, just, I have fast reflexes. I see stuff really fast. Like, I can see a couple people and I can just aim, aim, aim and kill all three of them and stuff like that. And that's really it for the reflexes and stuff. And now I kind of want to get in some tips, you know. You're going to want run a gun that you like don't use a gun that you're like oh this is a gun this is you know you know oh, oh i like this gun i like how it looks or this gun don't look good i'm not going to use it it might not look good you know i used to have this problem it was weird when i was small you know if a gun didn't look cool or whatnot i wouldn't use it even though it was probably overpowered and stuff you know i used a gun i did not use a gun if it didn't look cool that's how I was when I was small, but I regret that now, because now I use guns that look like, I can't even call them ugly, but guns that look not normal, like the Type 2 with that uh, ACOG scope. I wouldn't use that when I was small, like when I was small. I wouldn't pick it up or I wouldn't touch it, just because it didn't have, it had an ACOG and it was a Type 2. I didn't like the Type 2, but I would use it. But, you know, that's really it for the um, tips, you know, just just use a gun like use overpowered gun like i'm gonna say use overpowered guns like use mv4 you want to use overpowered weapons in the game like i highly suggest the raw liberty just because you run around with unlimited bullets you know karma's good the hvr is good the rpr is good the vpr is good you know most of these guns in this game are good you know you can use anything you want use anything you want you know but make sure you use something that's most most used like the NV4, the Titan, stuff that hasn't really been nerfed a lot. Like the Titan. Titan and Raw have not been nerfed. Like, they've only been buffed. They're really good. And that's really it for today's video, you know. And if you have any more questions, I will, I will answer them in the comment section. So make sure to ask, you know, put some questions in the comment section. I just want to show you this little sniping clip I got here. But, you know, guys, thanks for uh, all the support y'all have been giving me. It's just been crazy. I just want to say thank y'all. We're 30 subs away from hitting 2,700 subs, and it's crazy. I just want to say thank you. So make sure to like, subscribe if you are new, and let's try to hit 35 on likes on this. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace out, guys.